everybody. My name is Luke Marr and this is Hot Mode. And today on Hot Mode, we are coming to you with a closet tour reaction. This time from none other than hairstylist to the stars and beauty mogul, Jen Atkin, who runs, if you do not know, Away Beauty. Honestly, I kind of miss doing closet tour reactions. I haven't done one in a while. I feel like I'm kind of running out of closet tour reactions just because, you know, the girls don't post closet tour reactions full of luxury products that often. I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be very, 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 very interesting. But before we get into this closet tour reaction, I wanna say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Karma. Before we get any further into the video, I wanna say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is Karma. Karma is a browser extension and website that helps you keep track of all of the things you want to buy. Karma is an app and Google Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or coupon code. As you'll see in today's video, I'm asking a closet full of clothes, shoes, bags, and accessories that one loves takes a lot of time, effort, and money, especially if it involves luxury fashion. I'm still currently in the process of building my own perfect closet, but thanks to Karma, that process can be streamlined as it allows me to have all the pieces my heart desires saved in one place and allows me to organize my items by category too. Whether I'm looking for a spectacular runway piece to add to my archive or browsing around for tentative new furniture, I can buy or just window shop all in one place with Karma, which you can download by clicking the link in the description box below. I only bought a fall 2008 Prada dress because Karma let me know that it was on sale. And with Karma's help, I got 60% off. Yes, six zero and saved hundreds of dollars. Karma is super easy to download. You just make an account and click on the deep blue circle in the menu and add the extension to your Google Chrome. You then can go on hundreds of websites and save the items to Karma. For all you luxury fashion lovers, Essence and Matches Fashion are on Karma as well as ThreadUp and Poshmark for those vintage lovers. And that's just like a tiny little bit of the fashion aspect of Karma. There is an expansive range of companies, stores, websites that you can actually shop from with Karma. You'll get notifications about when the items go on sale or come back in stock via email or mobile, and you can organize your items into lists like mine. Karma has a special feature on Google Chrome desktops only that scans the web for coupon codes and will apply them automatically at checkout to help you save money, making the Google Chrome extension a must. They even launched a cashback feature, which allows you to earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retailers. I'm going to use my 1% cash back at Design Within Reach because with prices like those, every single penny counts. And I've already saved money with the tool too. So click the link in my description box to download Karma. Check it out. It's pretty amazing, I must say. So as you guys obviously know, today's video is sponsored by Karma, but just for like some sort of media biases purposes, I have been sent stuff by Away in the past. I don't know why, I like I, I appreciate it, but I don't know why, because I just don't think like this crusty mug is the target audience. Maybe they're trying to help fix that, but I do like the products. And at the same time, obviously this video could go horribly wrong and Away could never send me anything ever again. And I'm okay with that, but I just wanted to put that on the record so that, you know, everybody knows. So without further ado, let's get into this reaction experience. I'm gonna be interested in this because I feel like this is gonna give me Huda Beauty vibes where it's a business person that's not like, I have to entertain random people on the internet for a living. It's like, this is stuff I actually buy and wear often. So I'm interested to see Jen Atkins sort of fashion vibology as Paula Abdul once beautifully said. Hey, you're back. Oh my God, hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, so, I like the hair. I have been getting a lot of people asking for more of the house tour and the house saga continues. I'm a little hesitant to do this, but I'm gonna take you guys into my closet and into my closet. Why are you hesitant, Jen? What's the hesitancy? I need to know, why? So come on and I'll give you a tour. There she is, Miss Jen Atkin, closet tour experience. All right, guys, I don't want to, this is really awkward for me to do, first of all. I don't want to be like a humble bragger. Hey, listen, this is what this is about, isn't it? This doesn't really make me who I am, okay? So this is it. This is my closet. Oh my God, wait. Are those baby clothes? Baby Gucci clothes? I see a little Gucci monogram in there. I like the little raccoon sweater, whatever that is. She's cute. Oh, I have big supporter of off-white. Off-white. Gucci. 
Uh, Rue. Okay. I presume she has either a child or a pet. I presume from the, the cut of some of these sweaters, it's a pet, but I'm not really great at discerning between children and animals. A little bit more off-white. This is just like- Children a are sort of Champion little animals, aren't they? I did stand in line for this Supreme. It's not huge, but I make it work. Okay, she's tiny, down here. but we like so it. So that's, that's it, thanks for watching. A little walking, <laughs> well, technically you could walk it. Oh, I see what's been done here, Miss Atkin. You got me. Just from like initial sort of vibes, this is giving me very much so luxury closet that I feel like I've seen. It's just sort of status quo. As of right now, I'm seeing a lot of heels, wedges, quilted black bags, and what look like a caviar giving me Chanel moments. I'm interested. Before we get into this whole tour, I'm gonna take you to the most important feature of the closet. Okay. We've got nice cameras all over. Rich people vibes. I guess the camera thing is important. Also, if you have so much stuff at a certain point, it gets very hard to keep track of it, I'm sure. So maybe that's good. This oh, they, is... oh, okay. She got robbed. Didn't know this. Got it. Also, that seems to be like a real problem is people do definitely go into homes, et cetera, et cetera, and will steal stuff. There was a stylist, very prominent stylist, Law Roach, who had like a beautiful Birkin. And I don't like Birkins. I feel like we know this at this point. Like I could not give a fuck if a Birkin was, I don't even know. I just don't care. Unless it's like an Olsen Birkin that's like thrown on the ground and like they don't care and they're digging for cigarettes on the streets of New York. That's when I like a Birkin because it's just so casual. But Law had this Birkin that it looked like it had mountains on it. It was like the leather was stitched almost to look like mountains and that was stolen from him and I, still am in mourning over that. So I can imagine for some people that when certain items are stolen and people enter your home without your permission and all that sort of stuff, like that is scary and that is something that people wanna take precautions for. It's pretty amazing and it makes me feel really good that I worked so hard to have this. And in fact, when I first moved into Mike's apartment, I asked him if I could have a office, so his a office is in my closet. I his like office, that. Half his office. I am, I guess, a bit of a hoarder when it comes to clothing. I've always been really organized, even when I was in high school. Like I had to have everything color coordinated. I remember I used to like write down on pieces of paper like all the clothes I had and like mix and match what would go together. Interesting. I am not that girl. I'm more of a pick it up off the floor sort of vibe. And if it's on a hanger, proud of myself. I go. I do like coming in here and feeling good about like all the things that are in here. I really worked hard for from somebody who has moved a lot. Just live a minimal lifestyle because it's just more stuff to move. Mm. And if you get older, then you start realizing, oh my God, when I have kids, it's going to be their stuff to move and my stuff, my husband's stuff. It's just stuff. So. I'm gonna show you everything because there are some pieces that are near and dear to my heart, but I also kind of feel like if all of this were to go away, I'd be fine, so. Interesting, I like that, I respect that. So first off, this island came from our old house and we had this built by Linda Cooper Smith who is at the Beverly Hills Organizer. She mm -hmm. has moved us like probably our last four moves. Let's go into Joy for a second. So I wanna show you guys what's in this island. Just FYI, we did get robbed two years ago. Ugh. It definitely felt violating, like we were so like, in shock that people were in our house going through our things. But at the end of it all, I just realized that like, it's just jewelry, we have insurance, we have our help, we have each other, and those are the things that matter. That is very important for a lot of people and I respect that. I think that's the right way to think about a lot of that stuff. Cause listen, of course, hot mode, we talk about fashion. It is, you know, important culturally and has signifiers and historically and like, we're not, that's not what I'm doubting whatsoever. But at the end of the day, it is just stuff. Some of it is really beautiful stuff that has amazing sort of iconic context and you know nuances to it, but a lot of it is just stuff and it, it's not worth risking your health or you know happiness or safety or anything like that for stuff. So I look at my jewelry now as just like it's fun. So all of this is like costume stuff or things okay. that were really sent to me. All right, so Linda, she basically did all this for me and organized it all. This is all like Fallon costume pieces that I just really love. Cause you know I what? feel like I've heard you of Fallon jewelry. Nobody's gonna know if this is real or not. No, you know what? Listen, if you're going to a party or like events and stuff like that, there is not gonna be like a Sotheby's jewelry expert at said party, unless you're going to a certain kind of party, in which case like, if you're going to that kind of party, you probably have the jewels to wear. 
But for the most part, like the everyday person, like they don't know what's real or fake unless they can see the green. Nobody knows, nobody knows. Costume jewelry, very much so something that people don't even think about anymore unless you're like worth over nine figures. And then all this stuff here, these are like kind of like pins that we've collected that like Way came out with a bunch of pins and like my time's up pin. This is a clip on earrings because I don't have my ears pierced. I did have my ears pierced, I took them out. This oh, actually, I have to show you guys, this is my grandma's. I was Aww. so happy that we didn't end up getting that taken. Like this is something that I remember her wearing when I was little. That's the stuff that I have to say. I respect the historical and sort of like, you know, nuances of it. If this is something that is important to somebody in your life or somebody that you love and has sort of memories attached to it, that's the sort of stuff that it's like, I understand where people are upset about those things being taken. You know what I mean? Like that's stuff that is sentimental to people. It is a memory. It does hold value and weight, not in terms of how much it's worth, but in terms of an experience and a person and all that sort of stuff. So. I respect that. This is really fun. I got this at like a costume jewelry place in Dubai. Oh, interesting. I love the idea of like wearing this. I don't even know where I'm gonna wear it, but I just thought it was really cool and it's beautifully done. So this drawer okay, down here workout. is all my gym stuff. A few of the brands that I wear a lot of, there's Girlfriend Collective. I really love Split I know nothing. 59. My no nothing. Ideas, which I really okay, love. Okay, no. Um, I also, Good American is in here. Isn't that Khloe Kardashian's brand, Good American? Outdoor Voices. Outdoor Voices fits really comfortably. I actually really love, this is called We Me. It's really like soft and cozy. I have to say, I am not in the sportswear realm. I feel like you guys sort of know that at this point. I'm only in the sportswear realm if it's, I don't know, a collaboration collection. So if Beyonce is working with Adidas and sort of Ivy Park and stuff like that, or Kanye and Yeezy doing Adidas, like those are the sort of things that I know. But for the most part, there is a really big culture based around sportswear and workout wear and athleisure and all that sort of stuff. I feel like a lot of you probably know that, but to me, it's very like heavily oriented by VC culture, or, like venture capitalist culture. So it's a lot of millionaires infusing a shit ton of money into, you know, companies that they expect to make a big profit. And that's sort of not what I am particularly interested in. So this is a drawer I don't ever, ever really open because I live in LA, it's scarves. For the occasional time, yeah. look at the text. To Jen, that's a lot of scarves. You know what I mean? Like one or two in today's society, I understand, but that's a, look at that. That's a lot of scarves. Nobody wears scarves like that anymore, do they? Maybe in like, I don't know, Iceland? Those Nordic countries, I feel like maybe they wear scarves. But for the most part, like, Scarves, I don't know. Okay, moving on. Belts, Belt. oh, this is a okay. fun drawer. So this is a fun hack for you guys. She gets Christmas ornament boxes for your belt oh, so that they like That's stay smart. perfectly organized in a drawer. Even if you don't have a drawer to put it in, it's nice to like stack those boxes and you can find those, I'm sure, at like container store. So this is my drawer that I use for like travel. Love a travel bag. I do, I'm kind of obsessed with them. I think they're so interesting. Personally, I bought a Remova one, which is uh, from the German suitcase company, and I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. I also have this weird like suitcase Remova thing now where I'm like obsessed and I'm like, I just want to buy suitcases and I don't know why. Maybe it's the travel thing and being stuck inside all day long, but I'm interested in oh, travel bags. I don't bags. know if anybody knows this, but Mike actually shot the lips from the Kylie lip kit collection. Oh, interesting. So I have kept all of the Kylie lip kit bags that have come in because it's going to be fun to like have these and look at them one day. Ooh, you guys have to see this. This is from the Daily Edit, and I actually got this for all of my clients one year for Christmas. Oh. It's a jewelry organizer and like a fun little grooming bag in one, so like it's great to take on the plane. Very smart. All right, guys, let's go into bags. These okay. are my fanny packs I've collected over the years. All right, so just looking, I feel like that black one is a Chanel because I'm seeing the quilted, could be wrong. I feel like these little clear ones are those Hermes, like, plastic or PVC Birkins. I don't really know the history of them. I do see them a lot. Like I'll see them a lot on like auction websites, but I should look into the history of them. But that's sort of all I'm seeing right now. I'm interested in this green bag up top. I like a cylindrical experience. These are just like fun little colorful bags. I love these little guys. This is Mercedes Castillo. Okay, never these heard of, but I'm interested. bags that we came out oh. with last summer. Okay. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there's trash. There's a beach launch that like everybody asks whenever I use this bag. They were giving and me Hermes Birkin vibes in the PVC. This is so funny. This is an old Givenchy bag that like I couldn't beg Rose oh, to take this for me. I tried is... to pay them. To... That does have a what's it called? 
it has a shape. It looks like the Antigone bag, but like bigger and in a more supple leather. So it's more of like a chuck everything in it. I'm wondering if that's like a Ricardo era Givenchy bag. So I just keep that for the memory. I feel like that would make sense. So again, let oh me my god. Okay, so there's more bags. I'm seeing Dior Monogram. I'm seeing Gucci. I'm seeing Chanel's, more Chanel's, the gray, and then there's a blue underneath it. That's all I can see as of Percent right now. Working her magic. She basically color. Anything else in there? There's a lot of. Gucci monogram stuff. Coordinated all of this stuff. I buy a lot of like vintage, like vintage Gucci stuff. Like I if like I get that. something that's I really like that. a name brand, I like to go vintage. I just got this at Blue Spinach in Sydney. It's a Prada bag. Oh. First of all, like for- Okay, fun fact that looks like it's in the Prada nylon. Let's go back to her real quick for a second. In reality, the first bags that Mutra Prada ever released were in black and brown nylon. So I kind of love that, kind of respect that. I personally wouldn't pick that up, but I'm First of all, in like it. furniture and clothes and bags, it's like the resale value is never, unless you're buying like Birkins and like putting them in an air conditioned closet, like they're just going to lose value. So like- Again, okay, so Jen knows what's up. Jen doesn't watch Hot Limoda, I'm sure, but Jen knows what she's talking about. Unless you are buying like super duper rare bags, like from special sort of runway collections like Karl Lagerfeld's era of Chanel or like, you know, Birkins, they probably do hold a pretty okay resale value, but they had to probably be very, very valuable. If you're gonna buy a bag, do not buy a bag to just keep it in a closet. Like I learned that the hard way. I bought a Louis Vuitton and Richard Prince collaboration brag and like, it's not really, you know, that desirable. And I think that's probably gonna just lose money over time. Why would I buy brand new? Fine, I did buy Oh, I like brand that. New. It's an off-white sculpture bag. Okay, so she does like an off-white. Interesting. Andy Lecomte actually knows this story. That was my first, um, hairstylist that I assisted. And I remember this Bottega Veneta bag. Oh. I told him I was never gonna spend money on bags. I could barely afford this bag and I just treated myself and so. It That's an old Bottega. You know what I mean? Like nobody cared about Bottega pre-Daniel Lee. I mean like people did obviously, but for the most part, it's not really been a brand that you're like, oh, Bottega. I mean, it's very beautiful leather that is handcrafted and amazing and all that, yada yada. But I I'm interested in the shape of it though. Good memories. So I'm all about highs and lows. My okay. friends actually all asked me about this bag. So I was walking down Largemont and I realized that they have a kid's store and they make little tiny fake Birkins and fake okay. Kimoshi bags. Okay, So I went and spent $52 and got myself a little travel baby okay. and I used it during New York Fashion Week last year and no one called me out on it. Oh so yeah. Funny. This okay. actually, I've never shown Makes anybody, sense. so you guys are getting a sneak peek <gasps> at this, but this was a tester bag. Oh, we the really like, I love shoes. I don't know what to say. Okay. I have a love lot of a shoe. shoes, and this isn't even like what I used to have. So also, just so you guys know, in the mix here, I have like some high-end shoes, but I'm all about high-low. Like, oh. I am not a name brand person that has to like, I don't think that like it makes or breaks you. I think growing up in Hawaii, I I like grew up, no one cared about what you wore, like no one cared about brands. And then when we moved to Utah, everyone was like, oh my God, why don't you have like Gap jeans? And why don't you have a Banana Public shirt? And like... Okay, you were hanging out with the wrong people in Utah. Or maybe, I, listen, I don't know anything about Utah, never been, but like, I don't know. I'm happy I never lived through the era of like, you don't wear Banana Republic, you don't wear J. Crew. I'm very grateful that that was never something that anybody ever asked me. Abercrombie and Fitch, and like, who cares? Okay, the Abercrombie and Fitch. All right, so era I am a sneakerhead. I thank God every day that like the dad shoe is in style right now because I am a weak human being and I just love that I can show up and wear a dad sneaker. And it's okay. Like, these are some like Yeezys mixed in with like, I wear a lot of Adidas. I love off-white. I bought this shoe in white. Interesting, interesting. See, I would like a pair of Yeezys. I was like the duck boots that they made, but then a lovely neighbor of mine was wearing a pair of shoes and I was like, those are really cute. And they were like, Yeezys. And he was like $50 and I was like, Oh. These are some Stella McCartney Adidas. I actually work out in these. They're okay. really, really comfortable. These I've worn a no lot judgment. of. Workout these are Mercedes shoes, different Castillo. Story. Such a cool designer, such a cool brand. Here's a great example of don't okay. buy the hype. So I probably saw a ton of influencers wearing these. I've worn them like twice. They're just mm. not the vibe. It's hard. So. It's hard to pull off a Gucci moment like that. All but right, I like that she has them in a little python. All over here. She found these downtown. Jen, that's all the shoes we're going to see. That's it. In LA. Jen. These are so handy. They're little okay, baby wow. Susans for sunglasses. I have a ton of key sunglasses in here. I've got some 
Illustivas that I wear quite a bit. I respect that because I lose all my sunglasses. Too, so. I spend a lot of time designing with Linda Cooper Smith. I just had one oversized hat. Uh -huh. We were like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with this one hat that I'll never wear? This is like costume hats that back in the day when I was really fun and I used to go out with all my good friends <laughs> to go dancing, I would like wear hats. Actually, I got this at a rave in Rome. I just remember. Interesting. Uh, thank God for the gays. And this is the hat that I wore when we went to the Beverly Hills Courthouse. Wait, I'm dead. She kind married. of giving Meghan Markle vibes in that pic. Don't tell me Jen Atkin is not giving Meghan Markle. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Megs. This is the hat that I wore when we went to the Beverly the Hills The Duchess Courthouse of Sussex. I got married. 101. So I have to keep that hat. Because we get divorced. Baseball caps. Want to talk about them? Okay. okay. Erewhon. Our wasted. I'm wearing hat. a hat, so oh, mine's middle kid. Jen should get on the middle kid wave. I've got a Kylie Lip Kit hat. Mm -hmm. I've got my Pablo hat. My frame blame Jen hat. This is my favorite hat, a gold digger hat. So guys, we organize all this. Yeah, we so give us like, the fashions, like Jen. jackets because it never gets that cold in LA. These are all of my business Barbie boss bitch blazers. These are all flats, some of my favorites. These are really cute. This is an Australian brand called Venroy. They mm -hmm. have a lot of like linen stuff. I thought those were really cool. So again, guys, I get sent a lot of denim. I kind of like keep track Wait, of what all I the need tags to on. Dead. Like keeping the tags on them so that I know like what's the latest and greatest. So in the dark jeans, one of my favorite jeans is my Steph Shep with J Brand. These are so great. They're like what? jeggings. I was gonna say, yeah, they're giving like leather vibes. I wonder if they're and like they what the blend percentage is. Linda's way of hanging up pants. I'm gonna teach you the correct way. You fold. And I like the crotch moment. Very Ludovic discernment. She hates seeing crotches, so you're never supposed to be able to see the crotch. These are pant hangers that I think we got at Container Store, and that is the correct way. Well, you know. So these are all just like summer shorts. Okay. Some of the jean short companies that I am obsessed with. Girlfriend Collective, I love Subi. I like a lot of redone stuff. So okay. down here, I've got tank tops, a lot of strappy tank tops. I gotta give, honestly, you guys, not sponsored, but I gotta give Good American a shout out because I love the way that they're- The Kardashian love. One of my oldest pieces in the closet, I would have to say, is this tank right here that I got with my best friend at a vintage- Oh, show. love a Duran Duran. Concert tee that I like to die for. Honestly, guys, I live in LA. This is like how we dress. We yeah, I was gonna say, it's very casual. Day, workout stuff every single day. So these are all the t-shirts. Linda has it organized by like, Body suits, and then you move into like short crop, Gecko uh -huh. Hawaii, shout out to Gecko Hawaii. My favorite white t-shirts, if you guys are looking, Frame has a really great mm. white t-shirt. But you know what? I'm sort of at the point where I'm like, this is not really like luxury, high fashion, blah, 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 designer, bing, bang, boom. But it is an interesting thing, an interesting look into the contemporary fashion market. You know what I mean? We're hearing about like Kasubi or like Frame or Shop Redone. And like, these are brands that people do buy quite a lot from, and these are brands that people sort of definitely go for more in terms of clothing shopping than they would, you know, a lot of the things on the runway. So I'm interested. Okay, LNA. all right, the Balenciaga tees. Who doesn't love Chalet? Oh, love. Found this guy recently on eBay. Like, oh no, I was gonna say sweet operator is. I was a Joey McIntyre girl. Sorry, right my voice is bad. Baby blue eyes. So one of my favorite, favorite t-shirts ever. Now I want a shoddy t-shirt. My Chris Jenner t-shirt. Oh, And then we've got okay. our way limited edition pizza Okay. Sign. This was so cool. I love that they just like, were so smart to put a really cool like long sleeve tee and just put our label on it. I thought that was awesome. Giving Chanel-y sort of vibes. Interested. All right guys, this is Not the really, way. My favorite part of the closet. You know what, I'll say this. I think for people that run brands that do merch, like I'm never gonna do merch in my entire life. If I do merch, you know, you can all slap me in the face. Like all, however many hundreds of thousands of you can and are allowed to slap me in the face. I think that if you are going to do merch of any kind, it has to be good and you have to have somebody that actually knows how to make clothing. It's one thing to get a straight boy from Wisconsin to screen print a t-shirt. It's another thing to actually have somebody that understands how to translate your brand into clothing in a way that does not feel photoshopped. That's the problem. If it looks like it's a t-shirt that was made in the mall, that's a problem. 
It's just, it's not good. It's not cute. It's not exciting. It's not fun. It's not interesting. You have to make merch that actually is well done. Otherwise, what is the point? I'm so cozy. I wear sweats all the time. I cannot tell you guys. Come on, show us the good sweats. Get rid of, and this is how many I still have. Like I, by the way, shout out to Talentless Scott Disick because they actually are so comfortable. I am not ashamed. Jen loves a, a Kardashian shout out. Building over time, I got some Adidas in here. I'm also really bored of this. Let's go to my closet. I'm bored. We gotta get. Um, we're gonna go to your closet, is that okay? Uh, wait, you know what are you gonna wait, hold on. Wait, Dad, I'm sorry. I presume this is the husband? Um, we're gonna go to your closet, is that okay? He's update wearing Rick Owen shorts. I'm kind of hoping that Mike, who I was not expecting a closet tour from, is gonna give me that good L.A. F boy moment with a lot of Rick Owens. That's what wait, I cry. Guys, I'm gonna pass the hanger over to Mike. And I pass the hanger. I'm gonna pass the hanger over to Mike. Why don't you give everybody a tour of your closet? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go feed Rue. Come on. This is my closet. Wow, love that descriptive <laughs> experience. This was, when we got the house, it was just a completely empty room, but it's got really nice light. It's got the, the sun. Skylight. Skylight. So Linda okay. Cooper's here. She's a genius. And this is what she did. So she kind of divided everything. You can see we've got all the shoes here. I do have a sneaker problem. The problem- Okay, I'm seeing some Yeezys, which like, I actually don't mind the colorways of some of those. They're kind of cute. Is that I love white sneakers, but they get dirty. So then I have to buy- <gasps> Okay, so you know what, Mike? I'm into this. I like his Ricardo Tishi and Nike sneaks. You know, the ones with the orange on the inside. I love that. Very happy about that. That is- Taste. I feel like they are a very like Givenchy fam. It seems. I'm more. So I'm gonna go through at some point and take out the pairs that I don't wear. I'm gonna donate them. Um, super important. Okay, guys. There you have it. There were both of our closets. I was really hesitant about doing this video because I cannot stress enough that the bags, the shoes, the clothes does not make a person. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. We all just leave this world. She's naked, not wrong. Right? There's always. Oh, okay, cute. All right, Jen, so that is it. We appreciate your time and efforts. That was Jen Atkins' closet. Overall, not impressed. I mean, I think also I'm just coming from a luxury sort of standpoint as I was expecting a little bit more fashion, but it was interesting to see a lot of these different sort of brands that I don't often think about. And when friends bring up these brands like Frame Denim and Chop Redone and, you know, Good American and merch and stuff like that. I'm so, I don't know what that is. So I, I do think it's interesting. It almost is a little bit uncomfortable, I would say for me, just cause it's not my forte, but I do think it's interesting to learn. I do think it's interesting to know. And I think it does show this sort of expansive viewpoint of clothing and fashion and textiles and that it is not just sort of this one dimensional thing. It does have these different properties. It does have these different meanings and different sort of styles and brands. And it's just far more encompassing than I think a lot of us think, or at least I myself think. So with that, I'd love to know what you guys think of Jen Atkins Closet. Please let me know. Again, thank you to Karma. Check that link in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next one and TTYL.